the original idea for digital graffiti actually has a funny story. Um, friends and I had started a company in the dot-com era and we thought we were going to be making all these amazing business presentations and so we bought this projector that sat in a closet for a couple years, uh, actually just did nothing but collect dust. Um, finally, we got tired of seeing it rot in the closet and we broke it out and hooked the Nintendo up to it and played Mario Kart on a huge white wall in our office every day at quitting time. All the employees participated. And for years, it was a, it was a great uh, company retreat every day where we actually played video games projected onto a huge white wall. And then when we started thinking about ideas for the festival, it occurred to us how much white space we had and what a unique opportunity it was to blend three elements that had never been fused together before, technology, art, and architecture. The original idea for Digital Graffiti came about when Jason Comer, our town founder, asked us to develop uh, a concept for an event, perhaps an annual event, that would really showcase and highlight some of the unique qualities of Alice Beach. We proposed this perhaps a little strange idea of taking projectors, uh, inviting digital artists from around the globe to submit unique uh, original pieces of art that up until now have been confined to YouTube and Vimeo. Um, and really offer a blank canvas two and three stories high uh, for their uh, art to be projected upon. And that's something extraordinary and really, arguably, Alice Beach is the largest blank canvas anywhere in the world. So we began to research what else was out there and we found that there already was an underground movement, if you will, uh, guerrilla projectionists, urban projections, people who actually had outfitted vans with uh, projectors inside and they could go up and project whether it was political statements or marketing messages onto the side of skyscrapers or coliseums and of course when the law enforcement rolls around or when the uh, building owners uh, rolled around they could actually close the van door and drive away. So there was already this kind of underground subculture of people who were projecting art in urban centers. But there's really no annual festival, certainly no outdoor festival on an annual basis that highlights this talent and that really shines light quite literally on um, uh, all of these artists worldwide that are creating things uh, that pre predominantly only exist on computer screen. And we think digital artists uh, are kind of a neglected space that digital graffiti at Alice Beach actually has the potential to shine light on talent that otherwise would never receive the sort of funding and the sort of uh, international recognition that they deserve. So this year we received uh, over a hundred entries from artists around the globe. Artists in India, China, Israel, Australia, Brazil, Mexico, Belgium, Ireland, all over the world. And we had a selection committee who looked at the very best of the entries and chose roughly 25 for showing. Now we actually showed about 50 different projections this year, but 25 were eligible for prizes. The best of show actually this year went to a group out of Venice, California, and their submission was about a six or seven minute uh, video uh, art that illustrated a story, but in a very Cirque du Soleil, you know, kind of way. Uh, the judges felt that it was best representative of what they were looking for in this year's show. The audience favorite was actually selected by attendees of the festival who were able to punch in text votes on their cell phones and it went to uh, an entry called JD's Funhouse by a gentleman from uh, Panama City. And it actually involved a contemporary version of a Funhouse uh, Mirrors show where you were actually being videoed and computer filters were being applied to the imagery in real time. So it was actually an electronic fun house, uh, an electronic house of mirrors, and that won the audience favorite this year. So interactivity is be going to become a, an increasingly important part of the festival, we think. We were fortunate enough this year to have a wide variety of celebrities uh, attend. We had not only Andreas Duani, who uh, of course was the master planner for Seaside, Rosemary Beach, Alice Beach, and 300 other communities around the world. We had Alan Hunter, who was the very first MTV VJ back in 1981 when MTV first flickered to life. He was there. Uh, we of course also had India Hicks, who is a cousin of Prince Charles. She's actually in line for the British throne. Um, she was the flower girl at Princess Diana's wedding and a, a supermodel, author, hotel owner, etc. She was the hostess this year and we were very pleased that people like that who had never been introduced perhaps to this area uh, will travel all that way just to come see not only what Alice Beach has to offer, not only what Digital Graffiti has to offer, but what 30A in general has to offer. 
We're actually already planning Digital Graffiti 2010. Um, it will be held at Alice Beach, of course, and for information, people can go to digitalgraffiti.com. We're going to be looking for artists to participate. We're going to be looking for new judges, and of course, we're going to hope everyone will come out and support the festival when it happens next year.